Hello friend, welcome to Scott HG. Um, thanks for passing by and praise. If you're a new viewer to this channel, we are welcome to praise. And if you're a returning viewer as well, you're welcome also. So don't forget as well to subscribe to this channel by pressing the subscription button. Uh, you'll be able to receive each and everything. So I want to show you, today we are going to go through like how can we deploy a, a digital ocean a drop place that we can be able to use it for whatever purpose which you want like... Uh, uh, let me say which purpose you know. or oh, whatever purpose which one <laughs> of course just to be like um which one exactly for instance like uh bitcoin mining mm -hmm. um networking and many 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 stuff so let's try to go through so all you need to do is to create a new project so i, I created mine but you just you can just come over here over here um depending on which uh let me try to zoom in for you so that you can be able to see where, where i'm talking about you just come over create project so i've requested a website uh, version of this site so that uh, a desktop version of this site so that we can be able to get what uh, we want here but even if you request uh, this site still it's the same so all you need to do is to create a new project I have some some projects of that kind so you create a new project if you haven't created and as well you don't forget to sign up you can sign up using uh, the description link and the link i've put in the description we are able to get a hundred dollars free of charge so um let's get started uh, with this so you just come over here and click create a droplet okay and then uh, i'm sorry my internet is kind of slow but uh, i made a lot of videos about this stuff and i'm still making a lot of them because uh, um I, I want uh, to finish up with these servers oh, okay they are complex but uh we'll try to go through each and everything slowly by slowly okay now here we are okay um let's try to go through this okay as i told you if you use my link you're able to get 100 dollars for free so that you can be able to purchase these stuff so, okay here what uh, the first step here is for you to choose the image which you want so uh, so you may choose ubuntu uh, fedora debian centos or and uh, the versions are uh, shown here so uh, for instance in for the purpose of this video we are going to use uh, uh, Ubuntu 20 Ubuntu 20 just for illustration and then um, here we look we try to select um, we try to select the plan which you have there is that of five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars and then uh, fifteen dollars less that of uh, twenty dollars um depending on what you want and depending on the amount of money you loaded on your account um for for the purpose of this i'm going to go for that of uh, twenty dollars for the purpose of this i'm going to go for that of twenty dollars so uh, this means uh, and uh, they are showing you that uh, for per hour they will be charging you 0 0.03 uh since that is a uh, um if you sign up for that purpose uh, for that uh, server now here is what uh, it is it doesn't mean they are going to double charge you but uh this server runs for 30 days that means um that's why they are saying per month for 30 days that means at uh, the end of the month at the end of they will charge you 20 dollars that means uh they will be charging you 0 0.30 dollars that means um they don't deduct the money directly like um if you are told you have in your account like uh, if you have a 100 dollar balance here for instance i'm having around 89 dollars there and uh if uh they don't deduct the whole 20 because just in case you might destroy the the droplet in uh, today you might create it today just like i'm going to destroy it after this video because uh, i'm going to expose a lot of uh, content here so i'm not like going to use that droplet but i'm just explaining so if you create it they are not going to cut off the 20 dollars but they'll be charging you per hour that means 
if i create this uh, this doll, this droplet right now and uh, um i happen to I happen to destroy it uh, within 10 hours that means they will be have charged me around uh, 3 cents that is 0 0.3 so that's what uh, the thing is all about there so don't don't be scared if you have around ten dollars in your account and uh, you want that to to give it a try well you can go in and give it a try okay let's go in and uh, um, if you don't know what you're doing uh, specifically I will advise you to leave this this space uh, um this space blank okay okay now here is where we choose the location of the server which you want is Bangalore that is in Asia Toronto that is America uh, sorry North America and uh, there is the San Francisco Amsterdam Singapore so um if you choose the server for if the purpose of this server is for networking and so on, I will prefer choosing a server nearer to your country of origin. Uh, that is quite uh, difficult stuff to explain in this video, but uh, that is uh, the thing which you need to know because, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, it will be faster for you if you choose a server nearer to your location. And if, if I told you choose that one in. Um, uh, so depending on what you want if you want to use it for tunneling then um you, you can't be in us and select a server in us but uh you can choose a server in another country so that is uh something a uh, different case if you want uh if you want uh, if at all so you consider that too so for the purpose of this video many people say um for the purpose of this video i'm just going to consider new york okay going to consider new york and then we go um i'm going to take monitoring because i would like to be monitoring uh, the kind of uh, uh, the statistics of uh, this server because uh, sometimes you need to now here here sorry 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 okay now here here is where you try to select the password which you want for instance if i try to zoom in for you okay um here you can choose to set a ssh keys or you can choose a password so the one which is easier for you but um security wise uh ssh keys tend to be the best for purpose of security but uh, as well passwords are good but uh sshk keys are good as well so let's choose a password here now the password which you intend to use mm -hmm. password let's try to set a password here for here for the password should be at least eight characters it must contain one uppercase and uh, it should not end in a special character um as well and you should be able to so previously this service provider has been sending passwords or root passwords if i told you try to but uh for now they won't be sending it to you so what you need to do here is um uh, is for you to set a password and this password should include at least a hashtag at or but within a, a mid a, a minimum range of eight characters so we are done with that um allow me to set a password for this is uh is what you see here this one here where i'm pointing the cancer so is what comes after root so let's try to set our host name let me cross this one okay okay let's set a uh, host name okay so i've used this version of the uh, desktop because uh each and uh, so let's set a host name like scott 
Scott GG. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel by pressing the subscription button. Be able to get uh, lots and lots of more. So almost we are almost done. Now when you try to enable backup, they will be charging you some some credits, uh, which I will which will cost you. So, so sometimes I don't recommend. But uh, if you going to use this for maybe bigger bigger projects, you need to activate backup. But for the purpose of this, I'm not going to activate. So. If you try to see that uh, you've not choose the security groups uh, just like other providers do that means with a digital ocean droplets um, it is set to all traffic so that means um, most of all ports are almost all activated the ports of SSL and so on so all you need to do is uh, is for you to just Every channel, everything is set. All need to, is for you to. Uh, so the, the 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 server is almost created. All we need to do is to copy copy the copy the IP. Okay, and uh, we come over. Let me use this SSH. Okay, you're going to use GCSSH. I'm using it because it's what uh, uh, it's what uh, is being used by many. Mm, sorry. So allow me to just edit this. Okay. Allow me paste. Uh, So we are going to create a new identity. We name it Scott. You can put whatever whatever name which you want there. I'm trying to take you slow so that you can be able to as well here the username for most is root so we put root and then click let's try to edit i know where the problem could be okay let's try create a new one Okay. Mm, for instance, let's put and the username is always root and the password. Let me get the password here. Okay, we are set to go now. Let's try to start a server which we've created. Mm -hmm. It's running. And then here they're asking for the password. I'm just going to paste it. Okay. Remember password. Okay. Well, we are almost done here. So that is uh, our server and that is um, how to go by each and everything so here you're free to do whatever uh, whatever stuff you need to do if you are told you don't have a pc you can use uh, this apk for uh, each and everything which you want so it has been uh, such a great time with you here don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well uh, you can share this video to each and every one of your friends so that uh, um, they can also get to know this uh, for that uh, i remain scott Hugi and uh, we sign out. Jobless.